Okay, we started last week talking about exponential functions. And what I want to do over the course of the next several days is I want to split it up into uh, places that we can see that it's always going to be the same after we get to a certain point and, and take each one of these spaces and look at it in a different way. So when I look at the graphing that I'm doing, I want to look at from x equals 1 over to the right in one section and then from x equals 0 to 1 as a second section. So we'll call this A, what we're going to look at today. And then from 0 to 1 is going to be B and then from all the negative numbers is C. So we're going to take an exponential function and divide it into those three different areas and look at how it changes. With x changing where x is uh, any number uh, greater than or equal to 1, where x is uh, greater than 0 and less than 1, and where x is less than 0. All right, so those are going to be our three areas. And we're going to divide it up and we're going to take a look at what it looks like when x is in these different areas. So today, let's look at the A area. So we're going to be looking at this, where we have uh, a number raised to the x power. And for this, it's going to be x is greater than or equal to 1. So let's just make a table, x and y. All right, so when x is greater than or equal to 1. So when x is 1, we have 2 to the first power, which is just 2. All right, when x is 2, now we have 2 to the second power. So that means x or y is 4. When x is 3, we have 2 cubed. 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8. All right. When x is 4, we have 2 to the 4th power. 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8 times 2 is 16. All right. So this area where we have some number raised to a power of x, but x is greater than 1, looks to be pretty straightforward. When we graph that, We've got when x is 1, y is 2. When x is 2, y is 4. When x is 3, y is 8. So we see this. So Whenever we have an exponential function and the x values are greater than 1, it's pretty straightforward. So what I'd like you to do is do the four problems that come up on the board in just a minute. And that'll be your homework for uh, the 22nd of January.